Hello there and welcome to Behind the Stunts. I'm John Orty. Thanks very much indeed for joining me once again. We have a great show for, even if I say so myself, a great show for you this week. And we start with our movie of the week and it is Gravity. Um, it's an extraordinary movie. Uh, it's a medical engineer and an astronaut. They work together to survive after an accident leaves them adrift in space. Sandra Bullock in this movie is astonishing. I mean, first class. Not that I'm saying she's been mediocre or poor in the past. There's something about all the other movies that she's ever done. She plays, I've said this before with Heat that we covered uh, a little while back. She does that Sandy Bullock thing. And, you know, you come to expect it. She delivers hook, line and sinker here. Absolutely everything. She's brilliant. Uh, in this picture uh, with George Clooney who is uh, takes on his uh, supporting actor role very well here but the two of them together are absolutely brilliant I saw this trailer um, in 3D um, a little while ago when I went to see RIPD and the extraordinary 3D imagery in this picture uh, sitting in the, in the cinema and watching Sandra Bullock float over the audience uh, with those, uh, when I had those glasses on, she was she was right there, and I was reaching up. That's how bad it was. I was reaching up to uh, to get a hold of her uh, because she was literally a few feet away from me. Uh, just astonishing. You have to see this picture in three D. It will be incredible. Uh, filmed largely at Shepperton Studios, the stunt team are made up of many uh, very very fine British performers. Um, stunt coordinator on this particular picture is Mark Henson. Um, and is ably assisted by Jimmy O'D and Paul Kennington. Uh, stunts, in this particular instance, I'm going to name them all because they all deserve naming, um, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. An ex a really terrific ensemble stunt uh, team. Juliet Cheveley, Gary Arthurs, Stephanie Carey, Belinda McGinley, Sean Milne, Andy Smart, Shelley Benison, uh, David Cronley, Joe McLaren, Bean Peel, Aaron Topham, Ellie Burrows, Kim McGarity, Casey Michaels, and Diz Sharp. Every single one of them, an integral part of the action on this picture and uh, what you'll find will be the overall success of this picture. It is beautifully filmed. It is astonishing to look at from start to finish. Wire work, green screen, lots of action brilliantly handled by the, by the stunt team. And here, in all of its glory, but not in 3D, unfortunately, but in all of its glory is the trailer. Enjoy this. Quitting. 
just from that, I mean, you can see the, the, the size and the scope of it. And please, I urge you, go and see that on the big screen. You will not be disappointed. Uh, and it's out on Friday of this week. Now, our stunt reel feature for this week features one of the individuals who uh, worked on Gravity. Uh, he belongs to a performer who has worked professionally um, for the last 17 years, started back in 1996 on Silent Witness, I believe. Uh, and has looked back since. Bond, Harry Potter, Da Vinci Code, he's done it all. Uh, and plenty more to come, uh, including Vampire Academy, he's part of that, and the new Jack Ryan picture, uh, which will be out at Christmas. A, a huge uh, body of work, um, uh, all's crammed in to the next three minutes or so. This is Gary Arthurs. <laughs> Real, 
and uh, you saw stuff on there from the uh, Guinness commercial as well, a very successful ad campaign for Guinness, uh, uh, shown over here, I'm not sure whether it was shown uh, in the States or anywhere else in the world, but it was certainly shown over here, very successful too, and Gary Arthurs is part of the stunt team for Gravity, so go and see that this week and you'll see Gary in action. Now, uh, Matt Sterling. Matt Stern, you'll see uh, uh, over the last week or so on Twitter and the Facebook page and various other bits and pieces, I've been posting stuff with reference to Matt Sterling. Matt Sterling, as a professional British stunt performer, has qualified in a wide variety of sports and extreme sports, as everybody has. He's worked uh, for the last 20 years, uh, theatre, television and film. Last but not least, uh, to complement those skills, he has worked widely as a close-up magician, professionally, over the last 16 years. Recently, he devised his own individual style of cabaret show using the skills that he's developed in the last five years or so. And the show combines misdirection, cold reading, hypnosis, and uh, uh, great showmanship that can be flexible to suit any venue, any size audience. With this in mind, uh, the evening that I've been promoting will take place on November the 3rd at the Leicester Square Theatre in London. Now, the evening is to raise money for Jay Young. Jay Young is a budding stunt performer um, who worked at Legoland. Legoland is a theme park here in the United Kingdom in Windsor. And he was one of the guys who was rehearsing for a show. You do a couple of shows a day, a matinee, lunchtime show, whatever it is, and then another one in the afternoon. And was involved in a terrible accident. I mean, as far as, you know, the accidents go, it is one of those ones that you, you do dread. A terrible accident. He was rehearsing for a live show and was sadly paralysed from the neck down and does require uh, constant care. The money raised from the performance... Uh, will go towards a better life for Jay, um, a better life for his family, a little something to just help them along. Uh, he's been through an awful lot, the family's been through an awful lot, and uh, your support is greatly appreciated, uh, appreciated. Sunday, November 3rd, at the Leicester Square Theatre in London's West End. Tickets are £23 each, and you can obtain tickets by calling this number here which is now on your screen, um, and uh, it, I will read it to you. It's 0844 873 3433. Okay, that number again, 0844 873 3433. If you are in the UK and are in and around London uh, on that date, it would be great for you to go along, I must admit. Um, it would make a big difference. There's only... 60 tickets left. It, they want it to be a sellout and there are just 60 tickets left. So if, if you're in a position where you can be in London on November the 3rd, um, take some of those seats, would you? Because you'll be making a big difference uh, to Jay's life, to his family's life and uh, give him a, a bit of better quality of life at this present time. Unfortunately, this, you know, this terrible accident has made a big difference to uh, the family uh, and to Jay. And so uh, anything you can do would be greatly appreciated. So go along and uh, and do that and it'll be a terrific show. Um, to give you a better idea of what Matt actually does, here is a video of him in action. Have a look underneath your watch. Is it black? No. Green? Red? No. White? No. Yellow? No. Good. When you said no to the yellow, it was the only time you really looked at me. Let's have a look in your hand. Good. That's the yellow one down. I've done with We've got to share the scene. Share the scene. I'm a body magician. No, <laughs> oh my god! You see, you went too much of the green. Let's have a look in your hand. Lovely. All right. <laughs> now look. Can you feel the elastic band? Yeah. You can feel it against your finger? Yeah. Yeah, there is no way through, yeah? Okay, if I was to rub and do that, that would be a miracle, wouldn't it? 
Don't think about anything else, just keep thinking about the name. Think about the first letter. Uh, it starts with an L, doesn't it? Okay, keep staring me out, just keep thinking of the name. Second letter is a, is a, it's an O, is that right? Okay, now if this works, you'll be there to stay for the rest of the day. Just keep thinking about it, keep staring me out. <laughs> it's lolly, is it lolly? <laughs> I'd say that's the red, that's the white, go for it. Hey. Joel, for the first time, is this your watch? No, it's mine, I just wanted to show it to you. Now, go! <laughs> Well, you know, it's quite special for me because Matt is actually the person that I've spent the last 10 years of my life aspiring to be. Um, and, and tonight has just confirmed my desires and that I will never fulfil them because I can't ever possibly quite, you know, meet, meet the high standards that he set. <laughs> that was some pretty wild shit out there, I have to admit. A couple of times genuinely, uh, genuinely got me, so... Looking forward to the, the second half, eager to see it. I'd like you to write down on the pad somebody's name that was very close to you. Write it very large, but don't let me see. Have you done it? Yeah? Do you want to go back to your seat? You might not have it. No, you, no, I don't want that. You, I'll give you that. That's very much. Thank you. You can go back to your seat with that envelope. You can take it back. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Did you all come on the same fucking bus? What's going on? <laughs> Seriously, is that your signature? Yeah. Do me a favour, put your pin number just there as well. No, don't worry about that. Oh, you're back. How you doing? You alright, guys? Did you enjoy that? Do you like balloon animals? <laughs> yeah? Make it yourself. OK, now! That was real magic, though! Turn <laughs> 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 the camera. Was that real magic? Real magic! Real magic! Real magic. <laughs> it's real magic. individuals there as well. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter, the world's greatest magician, says that Matt Sterling is all right in his book and if Harry Potter says it's all right then it's all right. There's an endorsement if you ever wanted one. Um, so please do what you can and if you are in London on that particular date please go along. Uh, ring the number and uh, the number itself of course will be at the, the, the end of the show as well so you won't miss you won't miss it. You can get a chance to write it down. Um, so Matt Sterling, there we are, and uh, he's going to be doing a show November the 3rd, 7.30. Curtain goes up, all right, and uh, get some tickets for that, it'll be fab. Now, our stunt classic for this week, we're on television this particular week, and, uh, well, it's a belter, it really is, a television series from the 1980s called Hunter. You remember it? Um, Fred Dreyer and Stephanie Kramer playing... Detective Sergeant Rick Hunter and Detective Sergeant Dee Dee McCall. Um, the kind of American equivalent of Dempsey and Makepeace, that sort of thing. Um, created by Frank Lupo, who of course was partly responsible with Stephen J. Canal for The A-Team, amongst certain other shows that he was involved in. And a really successful, I think it ran, well, the, 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 this particular clip you're going to see is from 1985. Um, but there were shows still being run in 2003. I mean, it really has uh, run an incredible length. And this is a proper... Well, it's a... Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. What, let's watch the clip, and then I'll tell you about it. All right, here we go. Incredible, right up. I see the impact on it. Let's see, see it again. I, I think it's brilliant. Here we go. <laughs> Boom! I mean, right up the front of the car. And the, the, the speed that he's doing there, uh, just to uh, clarify, the stunt coordinator on that show is Russell Solberg on that particular e episode. The guy on the bike, Terry Jackson, right? Terry Jackson with one of the <laughs> finest dismounts 
from a motorbike um, impacting into a vehicle I've ever seen. Terrific, straight up the front, landing flush on the the uh, the hinge of the roof, where the if I may use an American term for a moment, where the windshield meets the roof, um, and uh, just I mean a real belter, isn't it? A backbreaker that one, but. Uh, that's the sort of stuff that they used to do on a regular basis on that show. There were car turnovers, uh, there were pipe rolls, there were big fire jobs, there were all sorts. And uh, the, the thing I go back to, I say this a lot, you know, getting feature film stuff on a TV budget. Well, the thing about that is that because of the success of uh, television shows like, like uh, The A-Team, they had money to throw at productions like that. And that was a, a, lot, of, a lot of money put into those type of gags. And that's a Great. What a great... I'm going to show it again. I'm so excited. I'm going to show it again. Look, uh, watch this. Brilliant. <laughs> Still good. I think I've... Seen, I must have watched that about um, 25 times this week. It just never ceases to amaze me how good that is. Terry Jackson, who I, I sincerely hope that after that gag, Russell Solberg came up to him and said, Right, you... Let's buy you a drink because you deserve it. Uh, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if everybody on the crew bought him a drink after that. That was well and truly worth the money alone. Um, so there we go. That's Hunter for this particular week. We will be back with a movie next week. TV and the movie. Movie than TV. Um, so that's what we're going to do next week. Next week, now, very interesting because I'll give you a brief insight. Next week, we have a special guest. A special guest, no less, who will be here Uh or possibly here, depending on, on uh, uh, how they feel about it. See, I haven't given the sex away, male or female. You'll never know. Keep you guessing. So, yes, yeah, special guest next week. And uh, a whole bunch of great stuff to come over the next coming weeks. So, please, do keep watching. Uh, go to the YouTube channel and subscribe if you don't already subscribe. If you know people who don't subscribe, get them to subscribe too. Uh, on the Twitter page, may I say thank you very much. I am over the 500 mark. Uh, all of those people who follow me on Twitter, I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. Thank you very much indeed. I couldn't do any of this without you luck. Uh, over the 500 mark, that's a real that's a real step. Uh, and I'm very grateful to everybody who, who follows me on Twitter and the Facebook page, everything else. And it's fabulous. Thank you very much indeed. So until next time, stay safe. And uh, I will leave you with the phone number uh, that you can buy tickets for Matt Sterling's show. November the 3rd, remember, November the 3rd, curtain up at half past seven, tickets £23, okay? Here is the telephone number in all its glory, and uh, we'll catch you again next week. Thanks very much indeed for watching, all the very best, bye for now.